Hello and welcome back. Let me wait for the sirens to stop. I have a bit of a cold. Um, I just feel super run down from like the past couple of weeks and then traveling. It was also pretty cold in Copenhagen. It was very windy and we were just like out walking around all day. So that probably didn't help either. So just feeling a little shitty and it's also raining right now. So it's definitely just a cold. I just have like a sinus headache so i'm just resting today and i'm gonna like get my life together i have to go get some laundry from the basement i'm gonna clean out one of my closets because i just feel like i need to get organized i haven't been doing a very good job of taking care of myself and my space within the past couple of weeks um and that just like doesn't feel good and makes me feel not great i just feel like i've been very all over the place and i want to take things take things slow and just get myself organized it feels so good to do laundry and like have time to do laundry i'm really glad i didn't come back on a sunday because then i would have to go into the office the next day um so I'm very glad that I will have clean clothes for the week. I washed all of my jeans, which I like never do. Who actually washes their jeans? I wear them for forever. I'm so happy to be back and just like getting my life in order. But the one thing that I will miss so deeply is the croissants and pastries in Copenhagen. It was incredible. Like I had a croissant and a cappuccino every single morning like did not go a day without a croissant um whenever i go to italy i do drink coffee there just because matcha is just like non-existent there um but yeah it felt really good to drink coffee again honestly so might switch it up for a little bit Excuse me Saturday May 6th um I don't I still sound not great I did go out last night uh, I went out with my coworkers. maybe that could be it but this is going to be a self-care weekend because I desperately need it the plan for today is also, I'm just staring outside because it's so beautiful out. Complete blue skies, not a cloud in sight. But the plan for today, um, it's, I don't know what time it is right now, but I'm going to go to the farmer's market, grab a bagel, and whatever else I can find. I'm going to not get a haircut, but see if I can get my hair cut fixed. Because um, I got a haircut about a month ago, and... I'm just really not happy with it at all like my layers just feel choppy and like I just have this like one chunk and I just need to go back to my regular guy and see if he can fix my hair so that's that's first task today and then I'm literally just gonna go and lay in Central Park hopefully like I can get a little tan because I don't know what the UV index is today but I'm just gonna lay and hope for the best. I'm gonna bring a book because I haven't read in a while too. Um, I honestly haven't started anything since I finished The Nightingale because I'm, I'm still recovering. That was truly one of the best books that I've ever read. And I don't cry from books. Um, the only book that's ever made me cry is Call Me By Your Name, but The Nightingale I was laying on my couch reading it, finishing it, sobbing, literally sobbing, 
I had to like put the book down multiple times. I wanted to throw it across the room. Like I'm, I couldn't take it. So that's the plan for today. Farmer's market haircut, lay in Central Park. I might get my nails done. Um, I got them done before, like a week before Copenhagen. So it's been like three weeks. Um, so maybe I'll do that. Or I could do that tomorrow. I don't know, I have no plans. Got a whole weekend to myself. And I'm really just excited to film this weekend. Like it's been a minute since I like had a, had to edit like a really long video. So that's the plan. This is the farmer's market fit. Um, another pair of pants that I got at Arquette in Copenhagen. I need like to sign a petition for them to ship to the U.S. again. Um, my Birkenstocks. I'm so out of breath from the stairs as per usual, um, and I have to leave very soon. So I got some peonies. Honestly, didn't even have that much yet. Like this one stand only had like apples and potatoes. So I just got some carrots and arugula. And then I got half a dozen eggs and two everything bagels. I'm back home now. I biked all the way back. It's like a nice half hour bike ride, um, but it was lovely. It's just so nice out. My hair feels so much better. I, I'm so happy with it. Um, he kind of just like cleaned up the layers because they were just super choppy. So he like blended everything. Um, and then we, now I have like real curtain bangs. Um, my front pieces were just like a huge chunk. Um, so now I have like real curtain bangs and I think they look so good. Like it looks really good when I put my hair up. So I'm very happy. Um, and now I am packing a bag and I'm gonna go to Central Park and just lay. I just made myself a sandwich, gonna bring a book, and I'm just gonna try to get some sun. <laughs> So the UV index clearly was not high enough because I'm still incredibly pale, but I was in Central Park for maybe like two hours. Um, it was just so nice and relaxing. Now I'm just like even more tired from laying out in the sun. So I'm very excited to stay in and do nothing tonight. And then of course my favorite do moisturizer. Love this. This is the jumbo one. I just ordered food from one of my favorite Mexican places. I got uh, some tacos and chips and salsa and rice and beans. So I'm really excited to just eat on my couch and do nothing and go to bed early tonight because I'm so tired. I got an al pastor, spicy shrimp, chips and salsa, and then rice and beans and I will be on my couch for the rest of the night. Good morning, it is Sunday and it's another beautiful day. I'm so excited. Like, hold on. It's so stunning and the sunlight is finally I mean, that's as much sunlight as I get, but it's coming back into my apartment now. Plan for the day. I'm gonna get coffee, run, come back and make breakfast with some stuff that I got at the farmer's market yesterday. And then I think I'm gonna get a manicure and a pedicure because I need it. 
and then I'm going on a date tonight so gotta get ready for that I probably should just be putting on workout clothes so that I can be ready to go <clears throat> right when I get back to run, but I'm wearing um, my Jerf Avenue shirt, which I shrunk a little bit because I accidentally put it in the dryer. So I might need to get a new one. And then I got another version of the Arquette pants in the striped color. And Birkenstocks. Okay, I decided my Jerk Avenue shirt looks a little too weird. I'm definitely gonna get a new one. Um, so I just put on this Read On t-shirt instead and then a little vintage Ralph Lauren sweater and my flatless sunglasses. seats outside so I'm gonna take my coffee to go just walk a little bit and I just got a little sad because in my old apartment the loft um, I had a backyard a shared backyard with the building and I definitely did not take advantage of it enough so I could be sitting in the back there right now but no more outdoor space for me going for a run I've been so inconsistent with running, like, I guess within the past couple of years, and I always feel my best when I'm consistently running, and I really want to, like, stick with it. I don't really know how to, like, get myself to commit and stick with it, but we're going to try. Um, I'm wearing one of my favorite workout sets from Aritzia brandy melville tank top and this is my uh little running belt that i got off amazon it's like the best thing ever because you just do that so i can just clip my keys on there it stays put and then i can fit my phone in it as well the best breakfast from the farmer's market everything is from the farmer's market the arugula no i'm lying the tomatoes are from whole foods fried egg and an everything bagel I actually have two things that I'm going to go return at Ulta right now. Maybe I'll pop into Sephora as well, but I'm going to go do that and then go lay in the park. I'm wearing this Chow Lucia dress, which is one of my most worn dresses ever. I'm so obsessed with this. I need it in white immediately. And then my Koss bag, sporty and rich Adidas. I cannot stop wearing these from Sephora I got two things I got this hourglass retouching fluid it just seems like a really nice like lightweight concealer um, I'm excited to try this because their regular concealer is a little bit too thick for me and my skin type so I'm excited to try that and then I got the Patrick Ta She's bronzed um, because I've only ever tried Patrick Ta blush. Didn't love the color on me that I picked. Um, and I don't have any powder bronzers. It's so pretty. I'm going to try this hourglass little thing now. I think I got the right shade. Hopefully I'll be a little tan <laughs> after today. Okay, wait, I like this a lot. This is a good color for me. That's actually perfect. Okay, wait, you could see it better now, but I just did it under my eyes. It's very natural. I like that. Back from the park, that was so lovely. Uh, I didn't film anything there, but I was just relaxing. Bought a couple of things while I was in Copenhagen, so I just wanted 
to share what I got. Um, I wasn't really planning on like buying too much and then you know you just walk around and like get sucked into stores. So this is what I bought. Um, I got these sunglasses which I mentioned in this vlog already but they're from the brand Flatlist. You can't really tell on camera but they're Oh, you can kind of see here. They're like a really dark burgundy color. Um, I just love the shape of them. I don't have anything this shape, so I had to get them. Um, they are founded in Copenhagen, so I thought that was cool. Another random little thing I got, um, I just thought this was so cute when I saw it, is this little ring dish that is shaped like an oyster. If you can see it. There we go. So cute. I got it from the store Dora that was close to our hotel in Vesterbro. And then I got this bag from Koss. Um, I've been wanting this for a while and while I was there, I saw it and I was like, okay, fine, I'll get it. Um, but it's really good quality, holds a lot. My favorite things, that I got from Arquette. I really had to stop myself from buying the entire store. I got these linen pants um, in this like light beige color, and then I got them in the stripes as well. And then I got the matching top, um, the button down in the stripes. It's actually not a perfect match. You can see the colors are like kind of off, but I'm gonna wear them together anyway. They didn't have like perfectly matching bottoms, so I just got these. Actually, I didn't know that I got two different colors until I left and then I went back and realized that they didn't have a matching pair, but whatever. I got a pair of New Balances. I'm obsessed with these. The colors are just so good. I love Royal Blue so much. Um, and these I got at uh, the store called Woodwood. One of the coolest stores I have ever been in. I went in there like multiple times. These are the New Balance 990V2. Um, they're available online on New Balance, but I saw them there and I had to get them. I think these just came out, if I'm not mistaken, but I love these. And they're insanely comfortable, New all New Balances are. And that's everything I bought. I also bought a present for my sister, but she's gonna watch this, so you'll see it when she posts it. <laughs>